So, hello, my name is Alexei Marushak. I'm from Ukraine, uh, Kiev. And let me introduce you our uh, scientific research, um, our work, which is uh, focused on um, preliminary study of occurrence of uh, various types of abnormal features in tailless amphibians, basically frogs. Uh, the object of our research uh, is uh, Pelophilax ritibundus, or marsh frog, green frogs that uh, can be observed uh, everywhere in Ukraine and Russia. Uh, and um, uh, the aim of our work was to see which um, was to find which um, features of uh, uh, the coloration of these frogs and uh, which abnormalities can be indicators of presence of different uh, pollutants. Uh, so um, we made um, 11 samples from Kiev and uh, Kiev region and compared uh, different manifestations of coloration. Like, for example, type of dots, uh, type of uh, basic color, type of dorsomedial line, uh, occurrence of uh, morphological abnormalities uh, as well. So you can see the examples like um, additional limbs, absence of eyes, unreserved tail, additional, uh, additional phalanx, etc. And uh, the uh, asymmetry of uh, dots on the back. Uh, so. Um, the background is very wide, uh, there are a lot of work on this thematic, but uh, in most of this work uh, there are no data, there are almost no um, uh, examples of numbers. So, uh, to what extent can these features be used in bioindication? And we tried to uh, compare the, le the level of, abnormal, of uh, manifestation of abnormal features with the level of pollution by heavy metals like plumbum, zinc, cuprum, chrom, nickel and stannum. And, um, uh, we also did uh, simple statistics like correlation al analysis with Spearman correlation and uh, analysis of variance to see which, um, which features will be most um, promising uh, to be used in bioindication in further investigations. And here are the results, so such parameters as percentage of abnormal individuals in the sample, uh, fluctuating uh, asymmetry level, so asymmetry of dots on the back, and uh, melanization of the belly and uh, uh, type of uh, type of spots like dots and medium sized sp spots are um, they showed uh, correlation uh, they show good uh, reliable uh, uh, correlation with normal p value um, and therefore they can be used in further investigations in further bioindication studies uh, to examine um, whether particular type, particular uh, feature can be responsible, uh, sorry, uh, particular abnormal manifestation of particular features can be responsible for or can show the presence of certain pollutant. Or not, uh, or not pollutant, but a certain impact. So it, it's, it could be not only uh, some substances or metals or radionuclides, it also can be parasites, it also can be a co combined effect of factors, but at least we tried to uh, start this uh, investigation and we hope that in future we will get more close and uh, more um, uh, narrow results, so to say which, um, which anomaly can, uh, is caused by which type of pollutant. Thank you.